Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Farrier Day. I am so excited. I learn something from our farrier every single time he comes, so I get excited when he comes. The girls are down with Sam doing chores. I was washing the dishes and was able to look out and see them put the horses in the field. I love that. This is, farm life is for me. Like when we had first moved here, it was like a trial thing. Like maybe we would love it, maybe we wouldn't, and we all love it. Gabby found something on TikTok that she's in love with and so she's gonna go buy it with Sam today. They're gonna go shopping and they're gonna buy it. I'm gonna stay here and get ready for the farrier because I just don't trust that they clean the barn good enough for the farrier. Did you sleep? Good enough for the, for to eat off of. Is it? So if I take your breakfast down and feed you off the barn floor, it'd be good? No, I don't need anything off the floor, but it's good to eat off the floor. I eat off the floor. Gabby does eat off the floor. guys we are at the parking lot of Home Depot and we went to get what I need every morning is my glorious coffee and we're waiting for Sophie I'm eating. <laughs> she's eating her bagel and we are here because I need to do a special project at home I need to fix the dog area so I need to buy some wood and we're here to look for a dragon no? What is it? Dinosaur. We're here to look for a dinosaur, a dinosaur which is unicorn whale. really pretty much like a dragon almost. A dragon without wings. I don't know what this thing is, but apparently it's on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And what's it for? Babies? For babies. Why do we need a light light, light, light for? Because I want it. What does it do? Um, when you tap its head, it changes colors. Wow. That is so boring. So boring. I my money. Oh, man. Then you can't buy one now. I'm buying one. You just have to pay for it. Alright, so that's what we're looking for. A dinosaur that changes colors when you tap its head. And that's the I stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Stupidest thing. That's the smartest thing. Forgetting your money. Then you don't have to buy it. Hmm. Anyways, that's what we're looking for. And I'm getting wood and she's looking for a dinosaur. For babies. Where? Anyways. We're just waiting for Sophia. Alright, so we're looking for night lights. <laughs> In this section, so we're looking. Turn. You see them? Night lights. That's all the night lights they got. They don't have what you're looking for. So we found the night lights and they're not what you want. All right, we're at uh, Canadian Tire now. Let's see if we can find it. That was a bust. The they ran out of them. All sold out. I don't think we're gonna find these things. We always find these things too late. All right, we're at the last door. Hopefully they have it here. They said online they have them. So we're gonna check it out. I don't see any though. Well, I'm sad to say that we're out of them. They're out. They're out everywhere. So sad to say we couldn't find those little night lights. So we're out of luck. So the girls are home. Sam is home. Did you guys vlog when you were out? A little bit. So Gabby wasn't able to get the thing that she wanted. I'm going to look it up on Amazon and see if I can get it. But now that everybody knows what you want, Gabby, they're all going to order it and then there will be none left. Ah, then we would kill them all. We were just getting ready for the farrier. He's about to arrive. It's almost noon. And we got chubby little Willow here. Does she look chubby? It's time for me to deworm them. I'm going to get some dewormer. She does. Like, are you stealing all the food? Tell me the truth. Yes. She's not ob obese, though. Like, I can just touch my fingers. Every time our, our, I can just touch my fingers. 
Every time our vet comes, he always tells me that she's a good size. She's not about to say, but look at her feathers, Gabby. I took care of her feet today. You gotta cut them. Can you cut them? Like, they'd be gross. I don't know if you're supposed to cut feathers. All I know is that underneath them, they hold in moisture and they hold in a bunch of junk that can't be good for her. Oh great, I cleaned the whole barn for the for the farrier and now you're gonna mess it up. Yeah, she's gonna get her feet all clean. So it's true, when the girls and Sam were gone, I came down and cleaned the barn. Sam said that the barn was good enough to eat on. Oh my gosh, we'd all be dead. We would all be dead if we ate on that floor. Yeah, I cleaned it. <laughs> yes, holy heck. I got out so much dirt, you wouldn't believe it. Here Gabby, you want these, are they better? No. Right. Sam is working on a special project today. I can't wait to show you guys. It's something we never show you because it's actually not in very good, it's just not a very good setup. Ooh, Finn's taking a big pee. It's so weird to watch a horse pee though. Like, how they stretch out, like use all their muscles to pee. Like I can't even imagine standing like that, let alone, okay, yeah. Laura, stop talking about the horse peeing. It's kind of gross. Usually we bring all the horses in and then they stand in their stall and eat while they wait for the farrier, but we're gonna try something different this time. We're going to let the ponies get done first, then we're gonna bring the horses in and do Finn right away so he's not just standing, doesn't get bored, blah, 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 see if he does better. You guys know, you guys know he's not awesome at it. He doesn't like strangers, believe it or not, he doesn't like strangers, it's so weird. Step away from the ponies' mane. People said that if you do anything to Gracie's hair, then you might get a haircut in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? I already, she's just thinning it out a bit. She's not trying to make it shorter. Gabby says there would be a funeral if that happened. Well, there will be a funeral if poor Gracie gets scalped. For anybody who doesn't know, the reason that we pull our horse's mane or cut our horse's mane or- to thin it out so when we show it's easier to braid. Say it again. To thin it out so when we show it's easier to braid. Yeah. It makes it get shorter and it's better than cutting because cutting makes jagged lines. It yeah. Bad. Yeah. So, so. This way it looks like it grew up naturally. Yeah. So what Gabby said. It also makes it easier to braid because can't I see her. cowboy magic. Just yeah. Screw this side of her mane. So basically. Two sides to her mane. What Gabby said is that. Um, the horses' manes have to be a certain length so that we can braid them so that the braids look proper. Yeah. That. So that's why we do it. We don't just do it just for personal choice, just for fun, just for... Just so, for... But with Chino's mane, we cut it. Yeah, so you... We do not want to do, deal with that. Yeah, we did not want to deal with Chino's mane. It was massive. I, I did not like the look of it. I mean, I kind of like the look of it, but not really. When your kids start getting fancy with the scissors and your horses, you know they have, don't have enough work to do to get more work for you. Where's Sophie? Here, look, I cut it. Yeah, that looks Doesn't cute. Look bad. No. So she's just tidying her up a bit. Thinning, oh, that is a lot thinner. But then she has all it's this. Brushed. She has all don't this. Don't go back to that side. This is supposed to go all the way over here, but I then know. it's so thick that it fell over here. I know, she has so like five hair. million pounds of hair. That's why we should do what Tanya and Andy do. What do they do? They divide her mane in half and then cut the middle part, like roach the middle part, and then it makes it thinner. And then all of it can go to one side, but I don't trust myself with that. <laughs> I don't trust myself with that either. But that's an interesting idea. Have you guys ever heard of that? Any of you guys who show horses? They roach the middle of the hair and then they flip over the other side and then it's thinner. Mm -hmm. My question is then what happens when you, when the hair grows back? She likes this it. That's what I did to Finn's mane. Yeah, she likes it. Not too short, Gabby. Gabby's been using cowboy magic. It's the best thing to... to... It literally untangles things so yeah, fast. It untangles it. Here's the trick with it. You gotta put it on the brush, like everywhere on the brush. Yeah, she... just quickly. And then you gotta quickly go like that to your horse's mane so that it gets everywhere on it instead of in one spot. Like, Did you have coffee? Did dad take you for coffee? Yes. I could tell. Come on! Okay. All right, Finny's next. I Girls are already done their feet. Yet. That's the remnants of the girl's feet. Now it's Finny's turn. Finny's our, our wild card, usually. Finn's, Finn's feet aren't too, too long. No, his feet, actually, they're pretty long, but not like Chino's. Or strong. And it's cold out today. Even Gabby's wearing a blanket. I'm hot. Girls are already done. Usually we give them grass in the morning. Listen, Willow, this is Gracie's. I can't even give it to her. Get it fast before 
Willow get you. Usually the girls give the ponies grass in the morning, but today they didn't. So, grass for lunch. Everyone's just the same. Stuck in the same old lane. Rambling on the road. And nobody sticks around. Don't know what danger is. Then you never been truly key. So, we are on our last horse, and it's Chino. He actually did have a tiny little abscess. Can you even believe that? It was so small and he's not reacting. So the farrier doesn't think that was the issue. He did watch him go and said he is still off on both sides. Only an abscess in one side. So I think it has to be something to do with the grass. He's getting his shoes. Here he is. Looking big up there. You and me, we're the same. I knew that. the whole time the farrier was here Gabby and I were wrapped in blankets that's how cold it was so cold in some places in Ontario they're supposed to be getting snow soon but where we live we're supposed to be getting a heat wave soon next week this is what Chino got this is our first time using corks and uh, we have to put them in every time we ride them in the grass and then take them back out I have to find a spot to keep them These aren't that big and they don't look like they dig into the ground because that he said that the bigger ones we wouldn't need this is this is all we need still all right i like pointy ones where it could go through your foot you like the pointy ones that can go through your foot yeah that's because they're grippier she said yeah i do not think that's what we need uh problem is where will we keep them so i think i'm gonna throw them in one of these things I'm gonna get some container and put them in there. Uh, the fair, it's been two and a half hours. Yeah, that's how long it takes for the farrier to do us. He's a really nice guy, he does a good job. I really like him. So I'm glad that he was here. Our horses were all good. Even Finny, Finny was the worst. Actually, Willow had a little freak out. But literally only both of them just for a second. Like they're, they're pretty good. Oh, so what happened with Chino? I'm gonna tell you guys. Basically he said, that he doesn't think it's a found it was a founder. He said that he so we've always known that Chino's had flat feet, really bad feet, like just thoroughbred feet, flat, flat feet. He had a little tiny, tiny abscess on the one side, the side that he is a little bit more sore on. And tiny it already burst we don't have to do anything with it he said he had a ton of bruises so like all along we knew he was going to need shoes for like when he's on different terrain and we were waiting for summer we thought he would need them in the summer and um now's the time like he told us when it's time for him to have shoes he has a bunch of bruises he's just super foot sore on both feet so that's what he thinks it is so we're going to wean him slowly back into grass keep checking his feet every single day until we rule out that it was a grass founder. Uh, he thinks he's just really foot sore, needed the shoes, put the shoes on him, still sore. Um, he's not moving any better with the shoes on yet. And he think like he has bruises, they needed time to heal. So yeah, that's all that happened. All your prayers worked. So hopefully, like obviously, it'll be a few more days until we know even more. We just have to wait for this all to play out. Now, let's go see what Sam was doing while we were doing the farrier. Okay, so you guys know that our little dogs go outside to go to the bathroom, obviously. So we have a side door in our house and we always just made like a little area for them to go down the steps and go out. Anyway, it never was a very nice little area. Anyway, so Sam was working on it. I'm gonna show you. So, this is it. So basically, they come out here and go down these steps and this is the area. And in the past, 
I was never able to move it to cut the grass. It was just like a little X pen. This is what he built all day while we were doing the farrier. I love it. Do you guys think Ruby will be able to jump it? She used to jump. Our other one used to be like way down low. And Ruby used to just jump out. Anyway, this is just for our chihuahuas. She can jump out, but she can't jump in. How do you know she can jump out? Because she did. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. So uh, we decided to do something super fun for Friday night supper. We came to a chip truck. So um, I don't know what you guys call it. It's french fries and sausages and hamburgers and they kick it in a little truck. They had no cheese. So we got french fries and I got a sausage. In the past, you used to, they used to have a little table and you uh, put whatever you wanted on the french fries. Um, but now with COVID, they fill it with stuff. Like they put all the stuff on it. You have to order it with stuff. Yeah, so it's super messy, but I bet you it's so yummy. 